What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be going over what I pay for my one bedroom apartment living here in Las Vegas. Alright, so like I said, we're going to be going over what I pay for my monthly utilities while living here in Las Vegas. And I've been getting this question a lot, so I figured I would make a video on it. This is going to be a very quick, straight to the point video. But first off, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. I share my life experiences living here in Vegas, all that good stuff. So if that's stuff you're interested in, make sure you subscribe down below. And now let's get into the video. So I will just take you guys through this as we walk. So this is my AC right here. As you can see, it is set to 78. So that is typically what I keep my AC on throughout the day. When I sleep at night, I turn it down to like 72, 73 usually. And I work from home. As many of you know who have watched the channel for a while, you know I work from home. So yes, I do have electronics on quite a bit. I do use the dishwasher probably about three times a week, I would say. And I use the washer and dryer probably once a week. And then obviously your hot water for taking a shower. I typically shower twice a day. Now this is my apartment here it is 692 square feet so if you want to learn more about my apartment and do a little bit of a tour of it i'll put a card up to that video somewhere over here that you guys can check out but getting into the meat and potatoes of this guys is my electric bill is typically around 55 dollars, and i'm going to put a layover on the screen right now going through the last 12 months of all of my electricity so these are all of the rates that i've paid from last August to current year August. And one thing that you'll notice is during, I believe November and December, it was extremely low. And that's because it does get into the high end of the 50s and into the 30s and 40s at night, sometimes even into the 20s during those months. And I don't run my air conditioner during those months because there's not enough square footage in here to really need it. I just have my windows cracked and you're good to go. So if you have a big house, you can obviously expect to pay a lot more. If you have a two-story house, you can obviously expect to pay a lot more. If you're somebody who likes your AC at 72 all sing every day, then yeah, you're going to pay a little bit more. But this is one of the things that I guess just a lot of people are concerned about. They think that they're gonna be running their air conditioner 24 seven. They think that their power bill is going to be absolutely astronomical. But if you live comfortably in a one bedroom apartment, guys, it is extremely affordable. It's extremely doable. This is the least that I've paid for utilities anywhere. I paid way more in Los Angeles and I paid more in Orlando, Florida. So the only thing that I would add onto this would be my monthly water, sewer, and trash that I pay through my apartment. It is a flat rate of $38. So no matter how much water I use, how little water I use, it's always $38. So this is a super quick, straight to the point video. This is probably my fastest video that I've ever done, but I just wanted to do something about living in a one bedroom apartment because I found that most people moving here are in a similar situation to me. They're gonna be in a one bedroom apartment. So again, this is going to vary based on your usage, based on your lifestyle. So take it with a grain of salt and it is very doable to live here without paying a fortune. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. Check out my other Las Vegas videos. I'll put a card up to those as well on here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, drop them down below and I'll see you in the next one.